Let's let's talk for a second about yes. about your book. Um, I, I think it's really interesting um, it's, that yeah. you have um, approached the subject of how do we yeah. address the potential shortfall in uh, tax revenue that could come about if people are not working because basically robots and yeah. AI yeah. are are working in our place, right? Sort of the, so if we can take it easy, you know, we we're sitting on our beach in the Bahamas yeah. whilst while a robot is doing our job or whatever, and maybe we're maybe we're paid a uh, universal basic income, maybe not. Yes, but there will be a tax consequences of that, or exactly. and, and 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 not just for the individual, but a but a big tax consequence for the country itself, yes. right? For any country. Yeah. So you've written this book to address, you know, what do we do here? And can you? I mean, I don't want you to to tell us, you know, to to summarize the book in um, in 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 two minutes. But yeah. tell us what you think. Yeah. Uh, what the direction? What direction are we going in? Or okay. what? 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 What would work in this? In this case? Yeah. So I, I thought um, about this. Now it's almost ten years ago. It started in two thousand sixteen. Yeah. And the first book I wrote is uh, first article was let's say two thousand sixteen and seventeen. Right. And then I wrote a book, and this is the second edition. Right. But expand it. Yeah. The edition it was originally the, entitled Taxing Robots, taxing right? Taxing Robots, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And you've now and broadened that a bit to exactly. taxing artificial intelligence. What is interesting about this is that, so, um, when I made, the, I made a, a big conference uh, in 2017 at the University of Geneva, the, in fact, the rector asked me to make a, a conference about this. For mm -hmm. It was a big, very big conference, which is even on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I arrived there very quiet, quiet and uh, in good mood. And then uh, it was very, very aggressive. Oh, I'm talking about 2017. Huh? So I described the idea. Who was aggressive? Who was aggressive? I mean, the public. The it public. Was, there were 900 people. So it was in okay. two rooms. Oh, I see. And uh, some of the reactions were pretty positive, but right. some extremely aggressive. Okay. Even one guy even lost his, his temper. His, he was almost trembling. He was so furious. I received even uh, an email of... Uh, even a warning, uh, an anonymous email, yes, saying, stop your research, something like that. So then I thought, okay, this is interesting. I need to, fo to follow up and to go <laughs> continue to study because there's yeah. something there. Obviously. So, and, and honestly, it's just an intellectual uh, thinking, uh, uh, but it shows that it, uh, it creates a very sensitive personal reaction to the people. Right. And I thought a lot about that. And I thought maybe the reason is that in a way for us as humans, it's a bit problematic to think about some machine or computer getting more, getting smarter than us. I think it's a ontological question if sure. I may call it that way. Sure. sure. So maybe unconsciously the reaction was so I mean, wrong, but so aggressive. But because people start to fear, probably. I mean, this is one of my mm -hmm. Makes sense. Anyway, the, the big, the, 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 in a summary, I, they say there are two ba basic ideas huh, mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have six different, um, uh, let's say, op uh, uh, alternative okay. to tax robot or like six different nature. scenarios. Six, six scenarios. But the, the basic idea is very simple. Frankly, I can explain in 30 seconds. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yes. Here we go. As we said before. <laughs> Boom. Exactly. Imagine that with the evolution of artificial intelligence, uh, work disappears slowly, yes. right. but really disappears. Huh? For everyone. Uh, for everyone. Wow. Okay. Or even is reduced drastically. Correct. That's the, yes. that's the hypothesis. Okay. Huh? Yes. Then we have a big, uh, a big problem, of course. Right. The social security is bankrupt right. because social security relies on salaries. Right. So there are no more salaries. Right. Income tax from uh, all the states is almost uh, zero because there's no more salary. You have the tax. income tax. Right. Right. Second, uh, second consequence, and even worse than that, the social security needs additional resources to pay. All the unemployed people. Oh yes, right. But it has no more, no money. But we're all unemployed. Yes. So, <laughs> but it needs but, the money yes. to 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 help the people right. who are lost, right. or or even try to to ad adapt to right. the new system. Right. And the fourth the fourth consequence is, is the value added tax as well. 
Oh. Because if you don't have a salary, the consumption goes down. Right. And if there's no consumption, there's no value added tax either. And value added tax is the most important uh, result for the state, uh, in particular in the EU. Oh, uh, it, VAT yeah. is VAT more, is more the important, most important than, tax. I didn't know that. If you are a minister of finance, mm -hmm. the first thing you do, implement a value added tax. This is the best tax to raise revenue. Okay. So this is the consequences, again, only if the so-called pessimist scenario occurs. Huh? Okay, yes, right. The, uh, the work disappears or is drastically reduced. Right. So in this scenario... I came out with many uh, proposals, right. and one among other ideas, but one very simple idea is to say, when, uh, when you own a house in Switzerland, for mm -hmm. example, yep. you have a, a tax on your, the so-called imputed rent. Right. Okay? Yes. It's a theoretical rent right. that is uh, supposed to correspond to the rent you should have paid right. if, you, if you were not the owner of that house. Correct. It's basically okay. kind of like you're paying yourself. So this is, and it has been uh, accepted by the court, it's yes. constitutional, it's right. so-called an imputed income. Right. So based on that, I've suggested to say an enterprise mm -hmm. that replaces a human worker yes. with a robot yes. or with artificial intelligence now. Right. Right, is in fact sparing the cost of the salary right. that it should have paid to the human being. Right. So then you can and also the uh, social costs. Right. 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 So then you can build at least conceptually right an imputed income right for that enterprise right which is the salary. Right, that they have said that they should have that it's fair. Right, they should right. have paid it's to the corresponding cost. work by a human worker. Right, that's one of the basic, and they would have to pay taxes on that. They would have to pay tax on that. So okay. that's one of the aspects. Another uh, proposal is to look um, at the production factors of an mm -hmm. enterprise. Mm -hmm. So to say, you use capital and uh, and work. Right. So the work disappear. So you you uh, let's say impute some kind of. Uh, um, ratios in order to implement a, a kind of a profit right. arising from artificial intelligence. So that's yeah. a, a more technical, but another uh, another approach. And then comes the more, I would say, controversial proposal. So this is, I would say, rather, you, you, you uh, I mean, easy in a way to explain. Of course. Uh, people would say, "Yeah, you are you, again. You always think about taxing. You are the new tax, and so you can see the the, the reaction. But at least I think you can argue about this, huh? right? Right. Again, if the salary and if the works disappear, right? But I came out with another proposal, which is the most controversial, which is a bit science fiction. I agree, hmm. but which is quite interesting. I think this proposal would have occur." let's say, at the second stage. Mm -hmm. So the first stage would be to tax this so-called imputed salary. Mm -hmm. But at the second stage, you could say all our tax system is based on a one principle, which is the ability to pay. You are a taxpayer right. because you have an ability to pay. Right. You receive a salary. Right. Maybe you have a wealth, etc. So you have an ability to pay. Okay. If you want to tax a robot or artificial intelligence right now, you agree that this device has no ability to pay. Correct. It has no funds. It has no. It has no salary right. to pay. But the owner does, though. The owner does, but eventually you could even think about creating a new entity. Oh, which is. Oh, I see yes. where this is going. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. And the entity <laughs> could be defined by the legislator. Right. The robot, so-called, I suggest, smart robot, right. or then uh, artificial intelligence right. under, of course, specific criteria that has to be defined by the legislator. This is the one which, of course, is very controversial. Yeah. So people say this is completely crazy. Nowadays, it's much less crazy than it was. Mm -hmm. Even some, uh, some courts are thinking about the ownership of copyright of artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. So why not come out with an idea that mm -hmm. artificial intelligence, again, against some criteria defined right. by the legislator right. in the democratic process, right. of course, right. becomes a soft kind of a new entity, 
in sort of a new taxpayer, right, subject to tax. And we can even define some funds, you know, which will be attributed to this entity, uh -huh. which could uh -huh. then pay the tax, right. even credit the value-added tax, uh, the oh, yeah. input value-added tax, right. etc. So right. this is the most uh, controversial proposal, which is again at the second stage. Now, if you think about it, just uh, mm -hmm. for the discussion, one century ago, more or less, we mm -hmm. didn't have a corporation. You know, what is a corporation right. as such? Right. A corporation is a creation yeah. from the legislator. Right. Correct. One day, it was in the United States and in England, more or less at the same time. Right. Uh, the Supreme Court yep. in the United States and the House of Lords, they said, yes, under a certain condition, this Uh, reunion of, of, of assets right. becomes an entity right. and we will call that a corporation right. which you can sue, right. which can enter yep. into contract. Yeah. Becomes, and a, becomes a legal person. Becomes a legal person right. and then subject to tax. Right. The profit tax. Right. 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 So maybe today yeah. we are in a similar situation yeah. as far as artificial intelligence is concerned. Right. One day, maybe uh, the EU is now even thinking about that, but not for tax purposes, but for, for um, liability purposes also, to oh. create a new yeah. legal entity, right. which would be some kind of artificial intelligence, right. which can be um, owner of legal rights, uh -huh. which may be, can be sued yes. uh, if they do something wrong, uh -huh. and then... Here comes the tax man, right. as the Beatles would say, <laughs> right. subject to tax. <laughs> right, right. Well, the tax man is always out there yes. waiting, waiting yes. lurk, lurking in the yeah. bushes anyway. I think it's even George Harrison that composed Correct. the song. Here comes the tax man. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, oh, that's, that's interesting, because, but it requires a little bit of a reconceptualization of what exactly artificial intelligence is, right? It's not just a set of programs, right. but now it's actually... Something else, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of a... I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's a huge, um, I would say, space for analysis. And yeah. uh, we, we are not ready yet, of course. But well, it happened for corporations in the past. Yeah. Uh, we, we said, for example, it, it needs a purpose. You need yes. the board of directors. Right. You need a, a capital, a share capital of, I don't know, 100,000 Swiss francs. Right. I mean, you could do something like that for right. artificial intelligence. Right. Um, I call it in my book, I call um, artificial intelligence a system. It yes. has to be some kind of a system. Mm -hmm. Some um, idea that could relate to that would be to even f to talk about cri cryptocurrency. Okay. For example, this would be a, a tool where we, yes. we use cryptocurrency right. and even to pay the tax. Sure. I mean, there are a lot of... Yeah. Uh, now, then it's a universe, of course, in which we enter. Yeah. But conceptually, I think it's, it's feasible. Yeah. And, and, and you said a moment ago uh, that we're not there yet, but things are changing fast, right? So yeah. uh, this is not one of these things when you would say, well, you know, 50 years from now, we might think about that. Yeah. That, that 50, what normally would be 50 years might be 18 months to the yes. way things are yeah, going yeah. now, right? Exactly. Right. For example, when uh, ChatGPT came out, it was a big surprise for the world. No kidding. Uh, yep. and, uh, and now it's part of our the, the life and it has even improved. Yes. Or we see now the bias and the problems. Yes. But it's really g getting everywhere I in our life. Sure. And not only for bad things, also for very good things. Of course. Uh, because people criticize me a lot in the past and they say you are against innovation, you are against robots. What? No, I, I'm fascinated by artificial intelligence. On the contrary, For example, you, you, you could take uh, very boring, very repetitive jobs and done, which are nowadays already done by, uh, by robots. Right. And it's, it's great. Right. Uh, Fukushima, for example, in Fukushima, yes. it's a robot which is going into the sea to check the, uh, the level Re of radiation. radioactivity. Right. I don't uh, think both of us would be really uh, willing to go. Not into really. The sea Not uh, really. Check this yeah. level. So we are happy that a robot can do that. So, right. It's, it's, a, it's a favorable development, but we need to forecast and imagine the, the I would say, the pessimistic scenarios sure. to make sure we can address them if they occur. Sure. 